on to. Needs to try and find a way out. Does still have the flat. The attempt is re-engaged. It's not bad, but oh my god! Mask is torn to the ground and deleted. There was nothing hiding behind him. Funky falls as well. Your mid, ADC and support all die in quick succession. Unicorns find themselves some angles to kind of get past the Scion in these team fights. I think that's where they can get some value, particularly because Zeri also can kind of join those attempts, fly over a wall, catch them out of position. Almost saw that from Danny in the last yeah. game, of course. And Zeri, it didn't quite work out for him, but heck, he got a little bit close. So you've got Mask flying over the fight, trying to catch someone out. You've got a Graves up, which can follow from quite a way. Leona, which can ult over walls, stuff like that, too. I think a lot of this game is going to depend on the positioning of basically everyone but Cry is thinking about it. He's a little yeah. slow to take down. But LDLC, they'll want to make sure they have vision control, they have position. Still, though. They're going to take this opportunity with some of the resets coming on through our LDLC to head over towards this dragon. But down comes Peach, down comes Lechick. They're going to try and find some damage too, but the dragon's gone. Come up fight afterwards. Send it blade in, but now the turnaround begins to come on through the solar player. But that massive collateral damage in Backland is deleted from the rift. First blood finally secured. Of course, it's by Graves. This round one pick beginning to pay some dividends. Pike still continues funky. Begins to get funky with it, throwing out that first five. But it is just going to be the one. Potentially an angle elsewhere. He's separated from the rest of his team, but he has a fair amount of burst. Gone towards the Leandri's first is going to be a bit more damage over time. It gives you more ability to maybe damage something like the sound. Mask beginning trade and it throws down. That's just about all out. Goes no. But he's very deep. Needs to flash on now. White now looking to get into the back end of this. Yes, because going to avoid that attempt to pull back with the interrupt strike to part three. The hostile oh. takeover though from Zoella as we highlight him and he throws down a monstrous ultimate that secures a kill in the mid lane. It'll stop the Herald coming on through and that means it's becoming increasingly challenging to contest for this draft. Dragon LDLT will head on over and look to claim their prize. But Unicorns played that fight far too fast. Venu going in feels very disconnected from the rest of the team. Mask was chunking damage into a shield on prize. They're sticking around, maybe looking for a steal. Double distort comes on through the north. Now back to full HP, has teleported back in. Peach at half HP, has flash, but need to come in. It's still that 4v5 prize. They can load the ethereal chain to so much damage. Oh, oh my god! It's still secured. It got very close. Prize flashes on out. Still alive, burning, but not dead. Peach hopping on through, beginning to throw out the shotgun shells. But it ain't hunting season! The bird wins out over the hunter. It'll be a one for one overall. But now the chase for mass can start coming on through. Nice retreat. Get themselves that Shirelius for the move speed out. Keep themselves in that phalanx. Don't give any openings onto their AD carry, onto Yaskla. Unicorns swinging a miss from them, but it was a good angle. They attempted it. It was a nice idea, but the solar flex oh, oh, wide! No, no. And the moment we start praising them for the attempt, Fenor gets caught. Gets caught, and that's a big moment. That's the front line down, caught across the back. Peach going for the invade on the other side. Now that his top line has been caught, he's got to find his way out. He's got a blast go, but can he get closed up? Flash towards it. We'll get on out to safety with the extended range on the blast. Go. Attempted uh, acquisition by Renata Glass Industries. Still, Tower, C. Johnson will be taken by LDSC OU ahead of this dragon for now. To pre engage, Peach steps on forward, gets a slow down. Mask on the hit. side. The Korean duo. Trying to find as much damage as they can if they all change. Locked oh. down onto White. Trying to play this one out. In comes the teleport from LDLC. Looking to turn this one around. Cry here as well. They're going to turn this one around best they can. But White taking so low. But not before they get a kill onto the Zeria. One for one right now. Make that a one for two. As Mask falls well. That's all the damage. Now Peach desperately low. Not quite down yet. Backland looking to find a final incinerate. And he leaves the ashes of Graves remaining. The Zaya doesn't die. Veneur looking to clean up at least one oh. of the team. Can't do it. It's going to be a four for none across the map. Unicorns falling apart. At least Veneur does survive, making it a three for none. But right. this whole game has come. This, this whole this this whole game has become about what can we do when the sign is not there? Because trying to go through this, you know, huge amounts of HP on that sign is absolutely insane. Onto the Baron, maybe a steal opportunity, but that's the best unicorns are going to get. OL oh, well, will be looking for the turn surely, otherwise you can start to smell the burgers, it's a European special, will it be an ERL special though? Benor, going to be turned on too, needs to try and find his way out, does still have the flat, the attempt is re-engaged, it's not bad, but oh my god! Mask is torn to the ground and deleted, there was nothing hiding behind him, Funky falls as well. Your mid, ADC and support all die in quick succession alongside your top laner, four for none, and LDLC OL, blink and you miss it. Delete the team fight and look to delete the game. Lethal turnaround from LDLC, from the Baron P, trying to run away, the stun lands, he's got to see the waves getting shoved into his base. 
The only masks which Mask is seeing are the mask of the Kindred, killed so quickly in that fight, looking for one of those angles onto the Zaya, couldn't find it yet again. The reigning champions of that titanic French region, LFL. LDLC OL start off their Amir Masters campaign with a dominating win. Unicorns, it did feel like they had a couple of those opportunities to...